Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Read what you got. And y'all gonna preach some, preach some. That ain't talking about when you already down and now. Talk about when you already up and in it wrong. But are we up? <laughs> our goal is to get up. Right. Every time, every time I hear that right word, right now, right now, right now we are slavery, down in the lower this, state, right? This and this and this. Bring no. it up. But right now we are down in the lower state, right? Because people lie. No, but we are down in the lower state, right? Yeah. You said the big Bible came with Christianity, right? Yeah. Read what you got. Isaiah 34 and 16. This is Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So no matter what, if you believe it or not today or tomorrow, this is the book of the Lord. And we're going to show you how it's the book of the Lord. Right. Read. No one of these shall fail. So it says not one of these these prophecies that's written in this Bible, none of them are not. They, they are going to come to pass. They are going to happen. Read. None shall want her mate. Meaning that you can't make anything, anything that's in this Bible, there's no book that's going to mate up to this Bible. Not the Quran, not no other book is going to mate with this Bible. Only this Bible has prophecies that's gonna, that came to pass that, that specifically point us out. Give me Isaiah 51 and 20. Because the things that we are doing today, you can read it right here in this Bible. That's how this is not, this is not Christianity. It's the same shit we doing back then though. But it's in this Bible. Read what you got. This is Isaiah! Chapter 51 and verse 20. Yeah. Thy sons have fainted. So the Bible says, thy sons have fainted. We are the sons of God. Whether you know it or not, we are the sons of the God. That's sons of right. God. We're not supposed to be living in the slums and the ghettos. But we are here because we broke God's commandments. That's because right. we didn't do what he wrote. Yeah. Listen oh, to me. Listen to me I for a minute, brother. You just, you just spilled out a whole lot. Let, listen to me for a minute. Bear with me. They that from my home. Thy sons have fainted. About to they lie at the head of all the streets. So the Bible says that the thy sons have fainted. Let's see. Go back. To, go to hold this and go to is, is Exodus four and twenty two. Let's see who the sons are. Because the Bible says thy sons have fainted. Thy sons have fainted. Meaning. The sons of God have lost consciousness. The sons of God don't know that they're the sons of God. Bring it out. The sons of God reject the very thing that'll get them out of the condition that they are living in. That's this right. Bible is for us. Right. Read. This is Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. Bring it out. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So the Bible says that Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the sons of God. That's right. We are the sons of God. That's Israel is right. God's firstborn. Right. Go back to what you got. So the Bible says, read it. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. So the sons of God, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have fainted. You have lost consciousness. You have forgotten that you are the gods of the earth. So what are you doing? Read. They lie at the heads of all the streets. It says the sons of God, the black and Spanish Ameri Native Americans, lie at the heads of all the streets. What's the heads of the streets? The heads of the streets are the corners. Bring it out. We are in all the corners. What? Selling drugs. Selling rocks. Destroying our communities. Teach. We are at the heads of all the streets. Gang banging. Why? Because we have fainted. We forgot who we are. Read. As a wild bull in a net. So it says the sons of God that have fainted are still laying at the heads of the street. There's the wild bull in a net. A wild bull in a net. What happens, my brother? My brother right here. If you put a net over a bull, what's going to happen? What that bull going to do? It's going to run crazy. 
it's gonna go crazy. And that's what's going on in our neighborhood. We shooting, robbing, selling drugs. We doing all these things. So it says, thy sons have fainted. The sons of God have fainted and we are doing, we are running around wild, doing drive-by shooting, shooting little kids, shooting one-year-olds, two-year-olds, three-year-olds. Don't even care. We just wild. That's how we know we are the son. We are the, this is our Bible. This ain't the Bible of Christianity. Bring it out! This is a Bible about the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord. So now it says they are full of the fury of the Lord, meaning they are full of the curses of God. Just like a, a father will discipline his son, if a, if a father give his son instruction and his son don't do do not do what he gave, let's say a father told his son, hey, I need you to clean, get your room clean by the time I get home. Then the father come home and, his, and the child room not clean, what's going to happen? He going to He going he gonna to discipline his son. That's the same thing that's going on with us. That's right. That's why we, I, we go through our communities, what you see. Boarded up houses, abandoned houses, bandos. You see our women strung out on drugs, Bring it pouring out. themselves, Teach. Right. selling their bodies, Bring it out. walking down the street with their butt cheeks hanging out the back. Teach. That's vile. Teach. That's an astonishment. Bring it out. Those, that's the fury of the Lord. We are running around wild. Right. We don't know who we are. That's not how we're supposed to be living, and we happy with it. Right. The minute somebody come and try to bring some sense, Oh, that's a, that's a white man's book. Oh, that's Christianity. Oh, they brought that book over here to us. No, this Bible talks about us. Right, yes, right. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. What you see going on in our communities is the blacks being rebuked by the Most High God. That's right. That's why this. That's why we are being, that's why you, every, every, every weekend there's hundreds being murdered. And a lot of them being kids. 14 year olds, 15 year olds, they ain't even seen like, they don't even know what life is. Right. And they being shot down. And most of them are being shot by accident. Bring it by out! By some wild Negro that's driving by on the blocks to shooting the gun. T Top! That's a out. wild bull in the net. That's what the sons of God are doing today. We're that's not right. supposed to be living like that. We are the gods of the earth. That's right! right. We're supposed to be ruling. We're supposed to be ruling the earth. And if, the, if we was ruling the earth, there would be peace. You wouldn't you wouldn't be running through neighborhoods and it's towed down. You go down a, a whole block and every block, every house on the block is boarded up. Bring it and out, you got one house in the middle of the block, somebody living in. Right. That's desolation. Read what you got. This is Psalm chapter 106 and verse 43. Bring it out. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Many times. Did he deliver them? So the Bible says many times did he deliver us. That's why we still here today. Because out of all the wickedness that we have done, the Most High still show mercy on us. Right. He still allow us to live. He still give us a chance to turn to change, to turn and change. And what happens? But they provoked him with their counsel. The Bible says we provoke God with our counsel. Because we say, oh no, that ain't fair. The Bible said that we're supposed to shoot and stone our children if they rebellious. That's not that's not that's not what God, that's not what we're supposed to do. We 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 provoke him with our counsel. Hold that, get us uh, Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 and 11. Because the, the, the one thing that the black, Hispanic, and Native American gotta understand is that the way we think is not the way God thinks. Our counsel doesn't does, does equate to his counsel. He's above us. That's right. So what we think, that everything that we think, we learned here in Babylon the Great. Right. We learned here in slavery. We're not even thinking our own thoughts. We're thinking what the oppressor, the so-called white man, That's want us to think. That's right. We're not thinking the thoughts of the Bible. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. Bring it out. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So the, the Most High God said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So everything we think is right, if it don't add up, line up with the Bible, we need to throw it in the garbage. Because that's, right. that's what it is. It's garbage. That's, right. that's why we are living in the state that we are in. Everybody got a wise saying, but what's going on? You're living in the stuff. You don't, you don't have nothing to, you don't have nothing 
uh, no substance to get in your people to get them out the condition that they in. Right. But everybody got an answer. Right. Read. Neither are your ways my ways. Our ways are not don't equate to the most high ways. That's right. His ways are way beyond our understanding. Right. We'll never understand it. But what we do need to do is get the get the reading his Bible and start applying his commandments. That's what he gave us to do so that we can change the course of our lives. Because if we apply the commandments, the Bible says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. If we apply that, that will that will get rid of the murder rate in Chicago. Not just in Chicago, in Chicago, in Detroit. In New Orleans, in, Lo in Los Angeles, everywhere we are, we killing each other. That don't even make no sense. We killing the very man that looked just like us, but Bring then we killing each other. Ain't nobody rioting. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody walking up the streets, blocking off the street Bring to stop out. our own people from killing each other. Bring it right. out, Jeez. But then when the police do it, then all, all of a sudden, everybody want to shut things down. Bring no, it you up, need yeah. to do it with the with the gangbangers that's on your block that's shooting down the children. That's oh. right. You need to stop, get rid of that mentality of all oh, snitches get stitches. No, you need to tell so that so that so your so your child can live. So you ain't gotta walk up and down the street fear fearing for your life that's because right. somebody's shooting on the other block and they they got terrible aim and then that, that bullet come through and hit your child. Right. Bring it out. Jeez. Read what you got. Read that. This is Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. Bring it out. And if they so sin and hear the voice of swearing. So this is God's laws. We are here to show you blacks, Hispanics, blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans God's laws. Right. Because that's what's going to deliver us. Us keeping his commandments. So it says if a soul sins, meaning if a soul breaks God's commandment, meaning if a soul steals, if a soul murders, if a soul commits adultery, what are we supposed to do? Read. And if they so sin and hear the voice of swearing and is a witness. And if you are you witness, you witness that, that young man get shot. You witness that brother break into that house and steal something. You witness that brother broke into the, the, the grocery store and stole. What you supposed to do? Whether he's have seen or know of it. And that's whether you seen it yourself or you heard it being spoken about. Because that's what goes on in the community. Every, every, you, every, it's somebody that know what's going on, but they don't want to say nothing because they scared. Scared of what? You're supposed to be scared of the Most High God. That's right. At the end of the day, he's going to destroy your soul and body in hell if you don't repent. That's, that's right. right. If he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. So if you've seen somebody murder somebody, you've seen somebody steal something, you're supposed to utter it. And if you don't, you're going to bear the judgment. Right. Just as well as they're going to bear their judgment. Bring it out. If the judgment is being put to death, you're going to be put to death because you decided to keep your mouth shut. Right. Bring it out. That's how we get the wickedness and the evil out of our community. That's, That's right. how we rise up as a nation. By keeping that, just keeping that one simple law. Gee, Chuck. It says if a soul sin. And you hear about it, you see it, you know about it, you're supposed to tell. That's right. But in our communities, oh no. Stitches get stitches. Oh no, I ain't I ain't telling, I ain't saying nothing. I seen, yeah, I seen what happened. And then you're telling somebody that somebody that you told, they supposed to be telling. Because otherwise, what's gonna happen? That 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 Negro that is trigger happy, gonna shoot somebody else. Then right. what happened? What's gonna be your daughter next? It's gonna be your son next. Bring it out. That's not how we supposed to live. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.